everybody, and welcome to my first devlog for the Game Off Game Jam, a one-month game-making event with the theme, Moonshot, which is an extremely ambitious or innovative project. Or interpreted as Moonshot thinking, which is thinking aiming to achieve something generally believed to be impossible. So needless to say, they set the bar pretty low. My idea was some kind of mix between RTS, like Halo Wars, and a tower defense game. It takes place in the future where Earth has developed a space cannon and launched a research slash mining base over to the moon. But then they get there and they're like, oh, shit, there's aliens. So then the player controls the space cannon to shoot over turrets to defend the base. So yeah, I took the theme as literally as I possibly could. I decided to make the game in a 2D pixel art style and started out by making turrets. The idea is that you'll have these base turrets that you upgrade into machine guns, snipers, etc. So I drew the basic one first. And I definitely took a little bit of inspiration from the sentries in Team Fortress 2. I got a little carried away and also drew the first evolutions of the machine gun turret and sniper turret as well, so you can see those right here. The turrets as a whole are going to be divided into two parts, one being the legs, which are completely stationary, and two being a head, which rotates, shoots, and animates. After I finished up the basic artwork and made a quick prototype in Godot, I just threw an Area 2D on it and told it to shoot anything that comes within range. The range being that purple circle you can see around the sprite. I also made some simple bullets as you can see here and they actually look pretty good in game with a little bit of glow effect. I booted up Godot and it worked, but uh, I definitely needed to spice it up a little bit. The first thing I did was make a muzzle flash, which was a combination of Godot's built-in particle effects and a shockwave animation I made with pixel art. I also added a post-processing glow effect to make it look like it was a light source. I also wanted the turrets to appear to reflect the light from the muzzle flash. To accomplish this, I just drew these baked-in lighting effects, which I'm going to make appear and then fade out whenever the turret shoots. To create the illusion of a more 3D environment, I also made some upwards and downwards animations for the turret's head. I actually originally wanted to have 8 total animations for the head, one for every 45 degrees of rotation, but I decided to give up on that idea once I realized how much time that would take to do that for every type of turret in the game. I finished drawing all the sprites for the head, and then I drew the baked-in lighting for those as well. So here's what the finished head sprites look like, and here's what they look like with the baked-in lighting. The last visual touch I wanted to add was having a shell eject every time the turret shot. I spent more time than I'd care to admit drawing this super detailed bullet shell, but I ended up going with this much simpler bullet shell instead, and I think it fits the art style a lot better. To put this in the game, I just added the texture to a particle effect in Godot, and voila. Put all that together, and I think the end result looks pretty good. Now, there were two functional things I wanted to address. One was that the turret snapped really abruptly to shoot their targets, and the other was that I wanted them to have some kind of scanning type movement whenever they didn't have a target, just to give them a little more life. But to do those things, I had to use the unit circle, and I hate using the unit circle. After a lot of visible confusion and not so helpful hand gestures, I uh, failed miserably and slowly slipped into madness. But eventually I figured it out and got it working the way I wanted. To accomplish the scanning behavior, I made rotation boundaries 90 degrees from the direction of the base and made the turrets reverse their spin if they hit one. The smooth swivel behavior when they find a target is notably more complicated, so I'm not going to go into detail into that here. But if you're interested, I'm going to do a full cold review on my Twitch, so make sure to go follow me there. The link is in the description. So yeah, that's going to be it for this first devlog. Please drop a like and a comment to help out the algorithm and leave your feedback. I'll try and respond to all the comments as best I can. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.